Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for joining me once again. Uh, welcome back. Uh, got a new part in. Uh, I think I mentioned I was looking into getting one in the last video. If you want to go check that out, the little build breakdown of, uh, of my car. Um, well, I got it. Now, if you're thinking to yourself like, oh, what the hell? What part is he talking about? Um, came in the mail today. Yes. So it's a AEM uh, digital dash gauge cluster, whatever you want to call it. Um, I ordered this part through uh, SD Motorworks, so go check them out right here. Um, they'll hook you up. Um, I ordered it on Saturday, and it's now Tuesday, and it came, so uh, I can't really ask for faster shipping than that. So this is, the, this is my, like my first time doing like an unboxing type video. Uh, as you see, the uh, seals are still in place. So we're gonna open this up together. We're gonna see it together for the first time, I guess. Um, I mean, I have seen a video on it. I have seen pictures online, but um, I've, from what I've heard, th this is a CD5. They have a CD7, which is actually a larger screen. So this is a five inch screen, and I think the seven is a seven inch screen, makes sense. Same thing otherwise. Um, I'm actually expecting this to be smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but uh, it's also like four or $500 cheaper than the other one um, for the same thing, so we'll make it work. So uh, I'm gonna try to get the cool overhead shot like everyone does, uh, and we'll just look into this unboxing thing, I guess. Let's try it. All right, so here look upside down for me. Uh, let's just cut this open. No people like knives. I'm not really. Uh, I just bought this because it looks cool. Instructions. This is the GPS sensor. It appears to me to be the GPS. Uh, this does have GPS capabilities because. Um, my whole di my old gauge cluster in the in the 240 doesn't work right now, so I don't have a tachometer, I don't have a, a speedometer, I don't have the coolant. I do have the um, fuel level, but uh, I guess that's the only thing that works. But uh, GPS is going to be my speedometer. Looks like the wiring. Uh, if if I read the correct directions. AEM net this is the one wire. Um, I know there's ones that have to get wired into the ECU, so that is probably the two ones that have to get wired in. We'll see with that one. This plug probably goes into the back. As you can see, I know nothing about this. USB. And then uh, I guess this is what we want to see, right? So um, I guess we're gonna peel this off together, right? Hold on, let me get closer. Oh yes. Seems like a pretty uh, sturdy piece. Uh, I know the buttons on each side to scroll through your screens. Um, there are Facebook groups if you uh, don't know what the hell you're doing with this, which I'm gonna have to look into, but there are Facebook groups on uh, this uh, whole gauge cluster deal. A lot of people, there's a lot of people that have some information on it that could help you out. Um, looks like the USB goes there. Um, I'm sure the antenna plugs in there and that's where your your uh, other gauge goes. One of the one of the things we're gonna run into is trying to figure out how I'm gonna mount this in the car that's gonna make it um, work best. Um, at least snaps in. Not bad. Um, for reference, for anyone that uh, that might be looking into getting one of these for reference, this is an iPhone 8 Plus. It's the size of the screen difference. The screen size difference. You can get it with it with it on, as opposed to that. I guess one of the things you could do if you're thinking to get one of these, uh, you could probably just take your cell phone and put it on your dash in front of you and see if it looks too small. If it looks too small, uh, get the CD7. Uh, there are other there are other ones that are out. Hall Tech just came out with one that's fully digital, just like the the AEM, and uh, it's cap it's compatible with the Hall Tech ECUs and OBD2. My car doesn't have OBD2, so I couldn't go with that one. Um, it is a little cheaper than this unit, but this unit uh, AEM I have an AEM um, ECU, so it should integrate 
fairly easy, hopefully. Cross your fingers for me. Now I wonder if I could plug into USB just to power it up, just to get the way the screen looks. Um, I probably have to download a program to make that work. Let's like that. Let's do a little bit of this together here. Looks like you need a Windows computer. Uh, I do have one somewhere. Quick start guide. Stapled in the wrong corner, FYI. Fix that AEM. There you go, that's what we have. We have a AEM uh, Series 2. It looks like you just have that, yeah, that was that plug. This one, this just has to get wired into the ECU. And then this gets plugged into that other plug that gets plugged into the back and it seems like it should work. Should work. So all in all, this is, uh, I actually tried to hook this up to a computer. Um, I have a PC here. Uh, I guess you can't power this up through the, the little AEM program. So uh, I'm gonna have to wait till I install this into the car to get power for it. I mean, I guess if I had a battery, I could pin it out and make it work, but uh, it's a lot more work than I'm willing to do right now. And uh, yeah, I, overall this thing looks pretty cool. It looks pretty durable. Um, Screen's cool, buttons. Um, I know you could have blinkers and all that good stuff hooked up to this, so uh, looking forward to messing with this thing. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, from what I've, from the videos I've seen on it, it is pretty awesome, so I can, uh, I'm uh, pretty excited for this. So uh, thanks for joining me on this quick video uh, unboxing. I don't know if I did a good job doing it. I'm, I'm not a, I don't really know the electronic stuff like that. Um, Got to look at it, got a little, uh, I guess, ASMR peeling this off. I'll play it again for you. So, um, I guess we're gonna peel this off together, right? Hold on, let me get closer. Oh, yes. Once again, uh, another view, if you've skipped around the video, this cell phone, iPhone 8 Plus, um, screen size-wise, I mean, Hopefully it's big enough. Um, actually, not hopefully. It's going to be big enough for me because uh, if it's not, I'm just going to move move the mounting point. Um, right now, I'm thinking I could put it in the dash, um, make a little template, and it'll be in there. Uh, it might be a little far. I need to see when it when it powers up how uh, how everything looks, um, or if anything, I could mount it on like the steering column uh, to make it closer. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, subscribe because we're going to have a couple more videos on this thing. Uh, I need to get it installed in the car, figure out how to set it up, and then maybe um, see what the different screen settings they have are. Um, I know on the Facebook groups there's a couple, I don't know if there's a couple dudes, but I've seen one dude that sells different templates for it, so we might get around to doing that, but first things first is getting this thing set up perfectly working or whatever in the car with the GPS so we finally know what speed we're going, and we get the tachometer working so uh, we stop red lighting the car. I bounce it off rev limiter. So once again, AEM CD5. This is a smaller one. Uh, subscribe, thanks for joining me. Uh, questions in the comments, hit the alert, the ring bell thing, and uh, see you on the next one.